try this video again. I had some problems with the lighting and things. This is uh, it's fine. This is part of filming and challenging. You always get challenges. It always happens when I do videos that I'm really passionate about. So I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, I get, I've been getting this question a lot lately, especially throughout the COVID time. And uh, the question, basically, it's the same question from lots of different men, right? And it's something that I've experienced many times in my life. And basically the question is somewhere somewhere along the lines, right? I don't know it, I don't know every question off by heart, but it's, this is the gist of it. So a, a guy's been dating a girl or, or he's had some connection he's liked a girl. She's shown signs of um, liking him back as well. But then at some point the girl's lost interest in you and she's either stopped responding to your text messages or... Some guys say it's a girl that they work with at work and the girl always speaks to them and there's a connection and all of a sudden she's kind of stopped speaking to you. She's like kind of avoiding giving you that attention or it's not the same, like the rapport's not the same as it was before. Or you might be dating a girl, you've gone on a date, it's gone well, second date and then she doesn't want to come on the third date. So it's basically a situation where you've fallen in love with a girl, you like a girl She's had feelings for you, but now she's changed her mind. And this is the question that you've asked me. Johnny, what can I do to get her back? Or what can I do to get her to like me again? And it's hard for me to say this because I feel bad when I get these messages from guys. Because number one, I'm human and I've been for it as well. And it's a, it's a horrible feeling. Although humans can be mean sometimes, like we can... When I say we, I just mean in general, people can make fun of people when they're in love and they get hurt. You see it on movies. But when you go through it, it's not funny. It's a horrible thing when you're in love with someone and you've got strong feelings for them and they've liked you or they've changed their mind. It's it's horrible. It's it's like a it's it's it can be heartbreaking. And it's a tough one, this, because I know that the answer I'm gonna give you is not the answer that you want. And that I can't give you a magic anecdote. And the real answer is there's nothing that you can really say to a woman or a girl in regards to winning her back if she's changed her mind. Actually, my advice would be to do nothing. Now, it's hard because when you're in love with someone, it kind of goes against logic. Though logically, you know that if you send somebody a message, a girl, and you invite her out, or you're trying to talk to her, or you're showing your feelings, and she doesn't respond for a week, messaging her again isn't going to change that it's not like she's going to go do you know what i didn't have any feelings for this guy or i don't feel attracted to him in that way or i don't like him as much he likes me he's messaged me again i've changed my mind now you know people are a lot more complicated than that and i would say the problem you're having at the moment was two problems number one is accepting even though it's hard when you're in love with someone and they don't love you back and they don't feel the same way in this case it's a woman accepting that that is the reality and you've got to move on now that can feel that's like the last thing you want to hear and i just want to make a point of saying because i know what it's like when you're younger i'm not against you guys i'm trying to help you out believe me i'm not but i'm telling you the truth and this is from my life experience i, I made these mistakes when i was younger people would say to me like parents would say it to me i know you're hurt we understand it's horrible we feel bad for you You've got to move on. The girl doesn't have the same feelings that you do. Meet somebody else. That's, re that's really what you've got to do. You've got to accept it. You've got to move on. I know it's a bit cheesy, but you, ha you do have to learn to love yourself. You've got to value who you are and not need like one person to complete you and realize that there's millions of women out there. There's so many women that you, you, have, you will have that love with, again, that feeling. But when you're in love and you're infatuated with someone, you never believe that you're going to... It's kind of like you, it's like you're under a spell. You don't ever believe... Uh, sorry, the lights are flickering. I think my light is, go, is going to run out. I've got to buy new lights for these lighting. You don't ever believe that you're going to feel... You're going to get over this person. So you've basically got to get over it. Now, um, obviously, not, like... Nothing's impossible, but let's say she does change her mind. The only way I could see that happening throughout my experience, but a lot of experience with dating, and making mistakes and getting it right and teaching, the only way a woman is going to change her mind, if, if it was a situation where she liked you at one point in time and she lost feelings for you, is if she sees you move on, you're happy in yourself, and you're living the best life you can live, and potentially... You know, you're in a situation where 
she knows that you're going to meet another woman. Like other women are going to be attracted to you. And other women are attracted to you. All you guys are great guys. They are. That's a fact. Then she might all realize she might start getting feelings. But I can't guarantee that. But that is like the best case scenario. But trying to come up with a message, sending flowers, you know, all that. It's not going to work. It's, it's, I don't. Think, that's never worked. It, it just doesn't maybe in the movies but not in reality it actually does the opposite it makes a woman lose more respect for you it puts her off you more so you you've got to move on and, and i know it is hard it's hard especially if you're you're working with a girl right and you work together and you've it's, it's what's really hard sometimes for guys and i've been there where a girl has really liked you and you've really liked her and then she's changed her mind her, she's changed over the course of time through whatever's happened, a series of events, or maybe she's met someone else, or maybe um, she's got her own things, struggles in her life. We've all got our own struggles, men and women. Or maybe she's just, um, you know, sometimes you just can't help it. You just fall out of love um, with someone. It, the, the spark goes. You can't always put your finger on it. You can't always say it's because of that reason. So it's easy to say this than it is to actually practice it. You've got to just not take it personal and realise like you're not really being rejected as much as you think you are and you've got to, you've got to go away and work on yourself now i will say this if this is a recurring pattern for you that keeps happening with women then it's your issue that you've got to fix it's not women you've got to be careful not to project and say well you know women keep rejecting me or they keep changing their mind or they're being mean to me because if you're projecting some major issue that you're not fixing or or some negative behavioral pattern in relationships and it's going to keep happening so take all what i'm saying as positively as you can learn from this grow from this and realize that it happens to everybody at some point unless you stay in your house and you don't go out and date and live we all get hurt at some point women get hurt men get hurt and it's part of the maturing you know life process but how you deal with it will determine you recovering and getting back to a happy place and falling in love again and really, you've got to basically meet somebody who has the same feelings um, towards you that you have towards them. In these situations, all these messages I've been getting, what I can sense and from what you've told me is most of you guys, if not all of you, you've liked the girl quite a lot more than she's liked you. I'm not saying in every case, but a lot of the messages and emails I've got that I've read and they've been quite in detail and because of my experience, my intuition and working with a lot of guys, you've been too needy, you know. And I can probably tell you that at a certain point she did like you. But may, sometimes guys make the mistake of doing this, right? And you're young, you're naive. And again, it's all learning. As soon as a girl starts showing you affection and she does show you that she's attractive and she likes you, 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 you get too emotional. Too, it's good to be emotional, but obviously there's a balance. And you show too much feelings and that can put her off. So it's a bit like... You've, you've said to a girl you like her, over time she said she likes you, she's shown you that affection and as soon as you've gotten that affection or love or approval or that nice feeling, you know, you've gone all guns blazing and, and been too, too needy and you've committed too quickly and that can put, a, that can put women off, it can, can put guys off if, if women are like that. So you do have to learn to control yourself and you've just got to um, move on. Now... It's all good and well me telling you this and, and I feel great that I can share it with you. The likelihood is most of you won't listen to me and that's fine. I'll take it personal. I'll tell you why. It's just life sometimes. We've got to learn the hard way. I didn't listen when people told me like, you know, you probably know that I'm telling you the right thing. Probably your mum would tell you this or your dad or a good friend or good people around you because it's, it's the right advice. But to apply it takes so much um, discipline and strength. Because like I said, if you're really in love with someone, I've seen it, I've, I've been there myself. Or I've been in love with a girl, she has, she's fallen out of love with me. Friends have told me, leave it. You know, don't call her again or don't buy flowers. Just She's not going to change her mind. And of course, I was young, naive, didn't have the experience that I've got now. Um, quite low self-esteem at that time. Not where I am now. And I keep going back, trying to go back, and you're just going to get yourself hurt more and more. So don't waste your time on somebody that doesn't feel the same way about you that you feel about them. And, and it's hard, but try not to be resentful. You know, try not to have ill feelings towards somebody because they don't um, love you in the same way 
that you love them. It doesn't mean they don't like you as a person. So it's all this going on. But I think today it's hard for guys because there's a lot of information out there that's phony, that's not honest. A lot of teachers will do anything to sell products. I'm not saying all, but there's, there's lots of that. And they'll promise they can give you a line or a system or a strategy that can get your ex-girlfriend back home. And it's, it's, not, it's not true in my experience. Not You can't do that. Now, if that was the case, if it was a case where you could make a woman change her mind, then, then it's, good. it's probably a case where there's a lot of games being played back and forward. It's not really mature and it's going to break down. And if you're new to my channel, my philosophy is I don't like tricks. I'm not into games and fakeness. and tr I like being honest and being confident and having good social skills and having that respect for women. Respecting one another, men respecting women and us guys... Um, women respect and us finding the right person where you've got that respect of each other and you've got that honest communication and you're not playing games and you're not trying to use a strategy or use pick up lines or tricks I'm not, that's not for me so um if you've got the same values then you see these this is really the lesson you've got to take it's can you take the hard lesson that's going to benefit you so much more later on or are you looking for a quick fix? Are you trying to find an anecdote because you're so desperate to get that love and you're trying to get her to like you? It's not going to work. The more you try, the less she's going to like you. The more you chase, the more you're going to push her away. If there's any chance for her coming back, it's by you letting go, giving her space, accepting it, not chasing and getting on with your life and meeting someone else. And in that time, she might change her mind because she sees, oh, actually, oh, this guy can do without me and she might get those feelings back for you. That's not guaranteed, but that is a possibility and that has happened to me. So I've made all the mistakes that you've made and I've done it right, I've done it the right way. And it is a confidence thing, this is a confidence issue. If you like a girl and she don't like you and you can't accept that, then that is low self-esteem, definitely. Of course you're human, right? Of course confident people can be hurt if you're in love with someone. But most of the messages that I've got from you guys has been this connection or this affection, these feelings you've had for a girl has been quite short term. It hasn't been like you've been dating a girl for 10 years and then all of a sudden she's left you. That, that's a different matter. That, that's hard for anyone. But most of this has been like quite short term. So that's even more of a reason for me to say, take my advice, move on and stop chasing because there's nothing you can do. It's psychology. We're, we're all kind of like that. I'll ask you this question right before we end it. If someone messaged you and they wanted to be friends with you and you didn't want to be friends with them, for whatever reason, you didn't trust them or you didn't feel, didn't feel right, if they message you another five times, is that going to make you want to be friends with them? You're going to change your mind? Of course not. You're going to, you're going to want to get away more. You're going to feel intruded. You feel like they're bothering you. So it's no different in this situation. The more you keep chasing when somebody says they're not interested, the worse it's going to get for you and the more you're going to be hurt. Move on. And it's going to be painful, but you get over it and you will meet somebody. There's someone out there for everyone. And if you work on yourself, and then you'll get over it. And it's the, see, these are the real things that we go through that really um, make you a more interesting person. Of course, nobody wishes to get hurt. And I don't wish that for anyone, which is why I said it's not easy for me to give this advice because I know how painful it can be, but I've got to do my job. I can't do it any other way. I've got to be honest and straight. And I know this is going to benefit you in the long run. It will really help you. It changed my life. I've helped many clients in this situation. And it's going to better your relationships with women. Because if you're, if you're a person that gets attached so quickly, then that is a sign that you've got some work to do on yourself. You've got to fix your relationship with yourself, let alone you know, with anybody else. And that's something that you can do. And I explain that all over my channel. You can improve your relationship with yourself through fitness, through discipline, through goal setting, through facing your fears, through treating other people well, through going to events, taking programs, mentorship, following channels like this. So that's it. That would that would be my answer. Let me know in the box below if you appreciate this. And if any of I'm sure loads of you have been through this, so you're probably going through it right now. But trust me, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You'll be happy when you take this advice because a great woman is going to come along for you. And it's going to make you a better person, make you stronger and, and make you make you more attractive. Kind of make you the guy that most women are going to want to date because you're going to have that um, security within yourself. And, and, that, and that doesn't mean that you don't show feelings of women. That's important. Be honest, caring, empathetic, emotional, 
you can't have a good relationship about all these things. But it's the balance of knowing when no is no, when someone says no, and, and accepting that, even though you don't like the feelings. And that's really the characteristics of, I'm not just going to say a strong man, a strong man or a strong woman, a strong person and a brave person and an intelligent person because intelligence is a big part of all this, having that awareness, that intelligence. Sometimes intelligence is doing something when your emotions are going against that decision because you're infatuated, you're in love, you're, you're obsessed with, with a person or, or the idea of being with someone and, and you're, you're afraid to face the reality which is they don't want to be with you but it's facing it that's going to actually pave the way for a much better relationship. So there you go, like, share, subscribe, and um, I hope you appreciate it. I really did the best I can to help you, and uh, I can't be any more honest than that. This, is the, this has been my experience, my account with dealing with a situation myself and helping other people, and I learn a lot. I listen. I've taken feedback from women. Um, I learn from everybody, all right? So fearless talk to you soon.